park the working? I'm going to assume it is. And if it's not, then that's just bogus. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so as you can see from the title, this is the review of Elementary. Um, but before I get to that, I just posted my um, review of the Doctor Who episode, The Angel Sick Manhattan, which was Amy and Roy's last episode. But watching it back, I realized I forgot to mention something that really had been playing on my mind, which I can't believe I forgot. But I'm way too lazy to re-record that whole video because it's very long and I apologize for that. But real quick, I want to uh, touch on it real quick in this one and then I'll get to my elementary review. So for people that don't care about Doctor Who, you can fast forward till you hear me talking about elementary. Or I'll put an annotation for you. But um, the thing I wanted to talk about was um, when the Doctor uh, got into the room with River when she was caught by the um, angel and she mentioned to him that she was now Professor River Song. Um, I don't know how many people noticed this, but the I did see a flicker of pain in the doctor's eyes because, um, since we know how River dies, every um, episode River's in, and there's I always pay very close attention to the doctor's face to see, you know, certain reactions, especially whenever there's a mention of something specific with the River that might make him remember the library. So in you know when she mentioned he was a professor, I immediately saw a look of pain. On his face because um, as all Doctor Who fans know that when River first appeared she introduced herself to Ten as Professor River Song and I know that you know we don't we don't know how long in between the Angel Sick Manhattan and the library River has before she goes there but just knowing that she's a professor now just makes me a lot sadder because I because that in you know my opinion is a clear sign that River's time, River and the Doctor's time is running out because the way I, I've always seen it is as long as she's the Doctor, as long as she's Doctor River Song, we've had we have plenty of time. But as soon as she becomes Professor River Song, I feel time is running out. And yeah, so I just want to touch on that. Um, but yeah, so there you go. End of my Doctor Who talk, and now to elementary. <laughs> so um. First and foremost, I am a fan of BBC Sherlock, and it is to anyone who's a fan of BBC Sherlock could not and watched Elementary, you know, is going to compare, which I did. But I told myself I would not do it too harshly because I knew it was going to be very. From what I'd seen in the trailers, I knew it wasn't going to be exactly like BBC Sherlock, and I also knew it wasn't going to fall follow canon like BBC Sherlock does. So yeah. So first and foremost, um. I personally think it was good. I don't think it's great, but it wasn't bad. I did quite enjoy it. And yeah, like I said, it is not canon. Well, there are some aspects that are canon, but the, it's not canon the way BBC Sherlock is canon. And yeah, I'm not going to try to compare. Like, I'm not going to compare Benedict to Johnny or even Martin to Lucy. I'm not going to compare stuff like that. But um, yeah, the story of the episode, it did seem like, I'm not going to lie, it did seem kind of like a cliche. Uh, crime, you know, that you'd see in any other, like, CSI or Law and Order, or, you know, any cop, cop show. So that was a little disappointing, and if that's kind of what it's going to be every week, then I, I do find that a little disappointing, that it's just going to be some, you know, garden variety crime every week, you know, like a regular cop show. But, you know, what can you do? Um, but, yeah, so that's the only part I find a little disappointing. Um, as for... Now I'm just going to go straight to characters, because there's not really to talk about all that much of the plot, and I feel like um, if there's anything in the plot, it would probably be connected to the character. But yeah, anyway. So Johnny Lee Mirror... M Mirror? Really? Oh, I'm so tongue-tied today. Sorry, it's like almost one in the morning here. <laughs> so I'm quite tongue-tied right now. I don't know why. But anyway, Johnny Lee Miller as Sherlock Holmes. I think he did a great job, you know? Um... His Sherlock is very different from Benedict Sherlock. See, I told you there'd be a comparison. Don't even yell at me. But I also said I wouldn't try. Anyway, um, in the way that, you know, Sher Benedict Sherlock is very, um, it's almost like he's closed, closed, closed off to his emotions. Like, Benedict Sherlock, I feel, from what I've read of the, of the books, I haven't read a lot, um, but, he, Sh Benedict Sherlock feels a lot more canon to how I picture Sherlock in my head in the books. Whereas Johnny's 
ha does have his moment, but not completely. Like Johnny's apologized a lot to um, Joan, which was very different, and he seemed a little more emotional, if that makes sense. But yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but with the material Johnny's given for his his portrayal show look, I think he does a really good job of it. Um, the only part I, I think there was only one part I didn't like or line, which was in the trailer for the show too, which I knew was coming, but I was still like when it came, I was like, oh, I don't like that line because it's so. Uh. And that was the line, you know, when they find the dead body and Sherlock says, oh, "I hate when I'm right." Which is not true, because Sherlock would not care. You know, he'd love it that he's right. Because Sherlock, you know, Sherlock has to be right. Or else, you know, he just gets extremely frustrated if he's wrong. So to hear elementary Sherlock say, you know, oh, I hate when I'm right. I'm like, no, you don't. You love that you're right. You're proving the cops, the cops are idiots. Yeah, what? So, yeah, that was a little, mm, That's the, I think that's my only biggest nitpick with uh, elementary Sherlock is that he said that because I was like, no, you, you're, you're happy, you're right. Um, but yeah, moving on. Um, Lucy Liu as Joan Watson. Now, I know so many people are so upset, you know, that um, Watson is going to be a girl, even though technically this isn't the first time Watson's been a girl. Um, CBS, CBS has done it before. Um, but Lucy, I does it, once again, it's like with Johnny, she does a good job with the material she's given. And I actually have no problem with What's the Mean Girl. That was actually one of the bigger reasons I wanted to watch it, besides seeing you know, how Joni did Sherlock. But I was very curious and um, kind of excited about the thought of a girl Watson. Now, my only problem would be is if they make Watson and Holmes have a romantic relationship, because that's, that's where I'll be angry. And the reason for that being is, you know, Anyone who's read the books or seen the movies or watched the BBC one knows that, you know, while it implied romantic, you know, they all, there is that little kind of implied romantic uh, um, connection between Holmes and Watson, you know, which makes John Locke, you know, that ship. It's never canon. They're never, you know, romantically together. And it's never going to happen because it's never happened in the books. So unless, you know... Uh, the people who, you know, make the movie or do the show really want to go off canon and make, you know, Sherlock and John be together, it's never going to happen. So that's the one thing that'll make me mad is that if they make Sherlock and Joan get together, that'll make me mad because it's not supposed to happen like that. They're not supposed to be together. I, I will, if there's sexual tension, I'm fine with that. Because, honestly, you watch BBC Sherlock, or even the Sherlock Holmes movie with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law, there's sexual tension there. Like, you can, I le can legitimately sit through the movies and the BBC show and be like, oh, well, they could be boyfriends. Yes, they could. I can see it. Even though I don't ship it. But, so, yeah, that'll probably be my only biggest complaint with Elementary, if they actually make Joan and Sherlock get together. That'll really make me mad. It really will, and I don't want it. But, sorry, I went on a tyrant there. But um, back to Joan. Joan's character, I feel, is a good combination with this version of Sherlock. Just like, like, Lucy and Johnny's chemistry, I think, is good. But then again, you know, this is the first episode. I'll probably have to see more to really, really give a firm companion companion, Jesus, I can't talk tonight, a firm opinion on, you know, how I like their dynamic. But for what Joan is and what Sherlock is on Elementary, I think Johnny and Lucy's chemistry is good there. Um, they have Detective Gregson in this one, which if I hadn't read the book, I would be very confused. But, um, so, reading the books, I know who Detective Gregson is. And I'm kind of wondering if they did that if they decided to go with the other detective because BBC Sherlock had Lestrade and so I don't know and um isn't it, I think his name's Aiden Quinn if I'm correct because I know he's in Benny and June but I can't remember if that's how you say his name but yeah he plays um 
Detective Gregson, and he's not in the episode a whole much. He's about in as much as, like, Lestrade is in, um, BBC Sherlock. And I think he does a good job. He's really good. Um, but, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about the show, you know. It's the pilot, you know. You can't really go off a whole bunch of the pilot. That's why usually with new shows, I give it maybe two, three episodes tops until I, you know, figure out whether or not do I want to keep watching this or am I just done. But as of right now, I will keep watching Elementary. Um, we'll see if it gets any better or if I, or if it just gets worse. We shall see. Um, but yeah, as for recommendation-wise, um, I can't really recommend this. And I don't mean that, like, in a bad way. I just mean, like, I don't know who would watch it. Um, I guess for Sherlock fans who are curious, you know, go ahead. Um, but basically with Sherlock fans, I'd have to say, if you're going to watch this, you have to keep an open mind. And if you watched, if you watch BBC Sherlock, I know you're going to compare it with, uh, you're going to compare the two because, I mean, you can't watch Elementary not compared to Sherlock. But, um, try to keep an open mind. That's what I did. I did, I did like it. Like I said at the beginning, it wasn't great, but it was not bad. It was good. Um, and yeah, so I'll definitely be watching the next episode next Thursday, um, after Glee. Whether, and like I said, whether I continue, who knows? Um, yeah. Okay, but before the end of this video, um, I should say, um, I am not going to do my review of The Office like I said I would, sorry, and I'm not going to be doing my review of The Mindy Project like I said I would, I apologize for that, um, it's just that, you know, uh, the second episode of Office has already come, aired, and I'm just so behind, um, actually another thing about it, I'm going to give them right here real quick, um, The Office season premiere, Thought it was good. I'm a little concerned about Jim. Don't know what's going on there. Um, so I'm scared of Jim leaving. But yeah, we sh we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm kind of mad at Andy for picking on Nelly because I do love Nelly, mainly because it's Catherine Tate. But we shall see what's going on there. But I can't wait for the rest of the season. Sad it's going to be the final season, but I'm also kind of glad because seasons eight was good but not all that great as it has been in the past so we shall see the Mindy project loved it um, but then again it, like with elementary it's the first episode don't know how the rest of the episodes will go but I'm pretty sure it'll be good because I love Mindy Kaling she's great and yeah I'm gonna keep watching and yeah it's a good show you should any fan of the office that was a fan of Mindy on The Office, I think you'll like the show. It's very different. She's a doctor in it, and yeah. But I quite enjoyed it. I'll definitely be watching again Tuesday. And then also, tomorrow or Monday, I hope to be filming my review of Once Upon a Time Season 2 premiere. That one I will make sure I do. Because, yeah. So, be on the lookout for that. And, yep. Yeah. So, that's it. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.